Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Hatfield, Wisconsin. We are still camping and stamping, yay! This is Molly, this is little Miss Val, these are my grandkids. Come on in Molly. So today I have a really pretty card to share with you using the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Free with a $50 order during celebration. I hope you guys love it as much as I loved making it. It's very quick and easy, and I think you're gonna like it. All right, we are going to step into my stamping studio through the magic of TV, and I'm gonna show you how to make this fantastic card and tell you all the details. Have fun. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Can, Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, we're ready to make another really pretty card. This is going to be using the Delicate Dahlias. Now, this stamp set has 12 different stamps in it. They are photopolymer, absolutely gorgeous two-step stamping, and it's also part of our distinctive line of stamps. And what that means is that these images look, oh, and here a little leaf, all four of these images look like they're real, distinctive. And it's a really cool um, manufacturing process to make these. I know you're gonna love this. This stamp set is part of our celebration brochure. This goes until the end of September. So you have until the end of September to get the Delicate Dahlias and it is free with a $100 order. So, we are going to combine that with the gorgeous, beautifully penned designer series paper. You get four sheets of each one of these black and white designs. Absolutely gorgeous. And I am going to be using this one today for the card that we're going to make. All right, let's bring in our cardstock here. We've got a card base of Rich Razzleberry, one of my favorite rich colors. I love these deep, bold, beautiful colors, and I thought this was perfect for my flower card. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're gonna bring in a Whisper White layer that is four by five and a quarter. Another white layer that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter a black mat for that layer that is three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then I took the designer series paper and I cut this piece at two by five and a half. All right, rich Razzleberry ink and Memento black are gonna be the ink pads that we use. And I'm going to take this bold detailed stamp I, I just can't even, I gush about this because it's so gorgeous. We're gonna stamp this right up at the top of our card, okay? So it's gonna open like this and we're gonna stamp it again right down here. Isn't that just already spectacular, right? Okay, then we're going to grab our little white layer we're gonna stamp our flower right over here. And now, being that it's on white, you can really see that detail. This is just so incredibly gorgeous. It looks like a flower, a real live, live flower. <laughs> okay, here comes our sentiment. I thought I'd make this into a thank you card. And hang on, I just stuck my finger in my ink pad. There we go. And last but not least, I wanted to tone. I wanted to tone this down a little bit. So what I decided to do is bring in my black marker and do a little flicking. And I've just really been into this lately. You guys know that Haley has been helping me and she's been doing a lot of flicking. And so now I'm doing flicking. It's kind of contagious. Flicking is contagious. Okay, so here's our beautiful, beautiful layer. I'm going to add this to my black mat, and that's really going to make that pop. 
Let's see if I can get this on here straight. Sometimes that's half the struggle, right? I got something sticking to my fingernail. A little piece of glue or something. That's weird. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, this is going to go on our card, and I'm going to use the striped side. I'm going to put this right in here. I get it on here straight and all the way up to the edge. Do we have any hangover? Yep, a little bit of hangover. Not from alcohol. <laughs> from Kelly Can't Cut. <laughs> okay. And then I thought a really pretty ribbon to use with this would be our crinkled seam binding. I love this ribbon because it's easy and it ties nicely. It's only a quarter inch, so it's really thin. I want to leave a big enough tail here so that I can make a nice bow. So let me keep pulling that through. There we go. And let's see if I can tie a bow today. I'm thinking that this is going to be the last video for the week until we get to Facebook Live on Sunday night. I'm going to be back from my camping and stamping trip. And I've got some really cool ideas up my sleeve for you on Sunday night, 7 p.m. So make sure you check back. My Facebook page is right here on the screen. You can head right over there, do a search for it, and then click on that like button. It'll give you notifications when I go live. But I will be live Sunday night, August 8th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to be using some more new fabulous products. I've got a fall card that uses a really fun, my favorite fall technique to use with fall cards. So you don't want to miss it. I have no idea what else we're going to be making, but that's going to be one of the projects. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're going to add some dimensionals. And I'm going to grab my black dimensionals here. Whoops, hang on, it's trying to hitchhike on my finger. And maybe one more right in the middle. Take your pick tool is fantastic for pulling off those dimensionals. I'm going to put this right pretty close to that left side. I'm going to center it from top to bottom. Get it on here straight. I'm going to pull this over my ribbon. I'm going to pull that over maybe. Oh, did I get it stuck under the I might have gotten it stuck. I wanted to pull it over a little bit closer here, but I think that dimensional is sitting on it. So we'll just leave it where it is. It's fine. And then we've got some new embellishments. These are the subtle shimmer sequins and look how pretty they are. There's some that are kind of like seashell looking and silver iridescent. Very, very pretty. Now I find that the easiest way to put these on is to add some little tiny glue dots to my layer and then I'm going to grab that take your pick tool if you want to you can pour some into the lid here so you can get at them a little bit better I'm gonna whoops take the end off your take your pick tool that's helpful I'm going to grab one of these silver ones and I'm going to set it right in that glue and then put my fingernail on it and hold it in place for just a second and then I'm going to grab one of these iridescent ones. This is just going to add a little bit of bling to that card front. And how about one of these other? Here we go. We'll put another one right down here. And again, I'm pressing it with my fingernail. Oh my gosh, you could put a whole bunch of these on your card. As many as you would like to make little glue dots for. Whoops, one's trying to escape. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now we've got this layer for the inside. So I'm thinking I am going to add this flower again. And as long as we've still got our ink out and we haven't cleaned our stamp, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. <gasps> again, oh, so delicious, right? Let's grab an envelope and make that match too, because if you have all these tools, why not? Here comes this beautiful flower. So pretty, right? 
I know, I can't stop gushing about it. Delicate Dahlias, and this is Haley's favorite flower. So when she saw this stamp set, she was like, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I hope that's my tow rope. I've been waiting for a delivery. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. Okay, here is our gorgeous, beautiful card. You saw how quick and easy that came together. Little flicking in the background here makes a big difference, right? So we've got beautifully penned black and white designer series paper here. Whole pack of it is free with your $50 order. Hang on, let me get this back in here. It is part of our celebration promotion. Well, maybe you gotta be a little bit smarter than your paper. It's getting stuck over here, there we go. Ooh, I did it, Amy. <laughs> And then we've got the Delicate Dahlias, free with your $100 order, beautiful distinctive stamp set. We've got the outline images. I didn't, I haven't even used those yet, but I can't hardly wait. If you like to color, these are beautiful images that you can color in with Stampin' Blends or markers or whatever your coloring preference is. There we go, you guys. Please don't hesitate to go shopping in my store. I'm never gonna discourage that. We have a brand new holiday mini catalog that just went live on August 3rd. You can see Val has done a little bit of artwork on the front of mine. Huh, we'll work with her a little bit. <laughs> You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous catalog filled with all kinds of beautiful products. And then of course, celebration lasts until the end of September. If you are placing an order and your order is under $150, please use this host code. You're gonna find this on my blog in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every blog post that's on there. And you might wanna head on over there if you're new to me, go check my blog out. I've got pages and pages and pages of gorgeous projects to share with you. If you need these catalogs, if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like to have these catalogs in hand, pop me an email right here at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to send the catalogs to you. Don't forget to include your address and also let me know if you need the big giant annual catalog because I'm happy to send that along. Thank you so much for spending time with me this week. I think this is going to be the last of my video series until I get home, like I said, um, for Facebook Live on Sunday night, August 8th at 7 p.m. Central Time. You guys have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.